it's Ryan the Sash Guy. Thought I'd talk about uh, some Norco clad casements. Just kind of coincidence that I had three different models here that I wanted to talk about. So let's get started. This is what we call the C-Series Sash. It uh, was produced, oh, early 80s through early 90s. Uh, some distinguishing features about that. It's going to have clad uh, mitered corners. Now the original So on the original Norco C-Series sash, you would have seen a plastic glazing bead around the perimeter of the glass on the outside. That's a very distinguishing feature of the C-Series sash. This was a horrible idea when it came to a wood window. This was pro probably the primary cause for a lot of wood rot on this particular model because the water leaked in behind this and that's what how the water got in and, and rotted the wood out from the backside. We've re-engineered that to get rid of this glazing bead and it's really hard to find anymore. I don't know that anyone's even making it, so we just took it out of production. So our C-Series sash just has a two inch wide plain face that did away with the glazing bead. And then when I flip it over, show you the inside, uh, we'll show you what we did with the stop. Now the next one, Norco went to a D series sash. We make this almost identical to the C series, but what you'll find different on the D series sash is you have square butt joints on the cladding. They are not mitered. Uh, but otherwise, as far as the design goes, we make this window almost identical to the C-Series. It's just really, it's that little different detail on the cladding. And the D-Series sash was probably late 90s into early 2000s. Now, and if you were lucky enough to get replacement sashes from Norco, I believe they made those through 2018 before they finally discontinued them. So you could get what they called the D-Series sash as a replacement for a C-Series, they were just sized accordingly for the opening. So if you have one of those replacement sashes, it's gonna look like the D-Series, not the C-Series. Now, the problem with identifying a lot of Norco products is they just call them all the same thing. There's four different sight lines, there's four different Tetons. Um, now you've got two different windows here that are both, you'll find a D-Series sticker on the frame somewhere, but they are completely different windows. This D-Series is what we call the second generation D-Series window. Now we're back to mitered corners. It's It was originally made with a much heavier uh, metal extrusion. It's not the thinner uh, cladding that you would see regularly on a sash. It's a heavier metal. And it, on the original, You've got a really pronounced lip on the outside and the metal would have wrapped around the edge. Ours doesn't do that. We just copied that profile in that so it all matches so your hardware goes on the same place. Dimensionally, it all works out the same. We just had to be a little more uh, inventive uh, with how the cladding went. So let's flip them over and we'll talk about the inside of it. So this would be your view from the inside of the house when you're trying to identify what model uh, of Norco clad casement that you've got. We're back to the C-Series sash now. Like I had mentioned earlier, the exterior used to have that plastic uh, glazing bead around the outside. We re-engineered that to get rid of that. And so we have a separate interior stop now that allows us to set the glass down in the frame. What we did was we copied that interior profile with the stop so it all looks the same when it goes back together. So even though this is an individual separate trim piece, when it's all together, it looks exactly like the original window profile. Did. Now back to the first generation D series. Again, frame wise, um, you know, detail of the frame looks pretty much exactly like the C, but now the D series sash does have its own stop. Um, it's a little more of a beveled angled profile. Uh, signature to uh, what Norco used for the time period. You would find this stop on a couple other different models of that late 90s, early 2000s era, but it would have a little different shape to it than what C has. The second generation D-Series, yet again, different stop. It's more of 
a rounded over profile, we actually use our signature Fenster Stop on the second gen D-Series because it looks very close to what the Norco D-Series had on it uh, for the second generation. So again, looking at it from the inside, really for all three of these different models, from the interior view of the house, they're really not gonna look much different than what your originals do. You're still here. It's over. Go home. Go home.